mini creators! Welcome to another episode of Getting Crafty with me, Various Heather, brought to you by Lumsden's Library. Today's craft is called a rockin' snail. These little snails rock back and forth. This is a really neat craft. It's quick and easy, and it only takes five items to make. The five items you need to make today's craft are number one, colored paper. Today, I'll be using patterned origami paper. If you only have white paper at home, make sure to color it completely before starting the craft or else your snail will look like a ghost. You'll need one sheet of colored paper for the body, a different sheet of colored paper for the shell. When I made the first snail, I made its body purple and a shell blue. The second item you need is white paper. We'll only need a small piece as it's just used for the eyes. If you don't have colored paper, your first two items you need are just white paper for the body, shell, and eyes. The third item you need is scissors. Make sure to ask a sibling, older friend, parent, or adult to help you with the scissors if you're not quite used to using them yet. Gotta be safe. The fourth item you'll need is tape or glue. A glue stick would be best. White glue would take a little bit too long to dry. I could only find tape today though, so that's what I'll be using. The last item, number five, that you need is markers or pencil crayons or a pencil if that's all you can find. We'll be adding in the swirl on the shell, the eyes, and then the mouth to the snail. There, now that you've got all five items, it's time to start our craft. All right, step one of making the craft. <laughs> Choose which color you're gonna use for the body and which color you're gonna use for the shell. I think I'm gonna use this color for the body and this color for the shell. The body is gonna be bigger than the shell, so we're going to take it and fold it this way. This will allow us to cut the biggest circle possible. When you fold it in half, make sure that this line is very, very straight and it's got a nice crease. Then cut out a half circle. Because it's folded, when you unfold it, it'll be a full circle. Trim afterwards if you don't like how it looks. But make sure to keep all the extra paper from the corners. We'll be using them later to make eyes. Save it for later. Now my circle's kind of funny looking. It's not a perfect circle. However, because we are making a snail, we can have this part be the head and this part be the tail with the shell right here. Next, take the piece that you're gonna use for the shell, and because we have two sides to the snail's shell, we're gonna need to fold it in half the regular way. Like this. Cut your circle out, but don't leave them connected. Mine's not a perfect circle. They're more like ovals, but that's okay. Now we have the body cut out and we have the shell cut out. Next, take the leftover bit from the body. We're gonna use this to cut out the eyes. The eyes are just little rectangles, pretty easy. Cut the eyes as long or short as you like, but don't make them too wide. Then it'll cause the snail to flop over and sit down on his face. Ouch. There. I think those will make good eyes. The first time I did it, they were a bit too wide, so he does tip over a little bit. Let's try not to do that this time. Lastly, take your white piece of paper and cut out your two small circles. They'll look like this. Two white little circles for eyes. That's it, that's all done for cutting. What's next? Step two, take your two circles that you're using for a shell and draw on a swirl pattern like this one. A nice little hypnotizing swirl. Look into my eyes. <laughs> one, two. Done the shell. Next up on the drawing board, time to color in those eyes. What kind of expression are you gonna give your snail? The first snail I did had a laughing expression like this. But what do I want to give my next snail? Hmm, should he be happy too? Or maybe? This snail is unimpressed. 
Not happening. That's it for the drawing part. You can add details to the snail's body if you like, or different patterns to the shell, but we're moving on to the next step, baby. Step three, time to attach everything together. Get your tape or glue, and we're gonna attach the snail's shell to his body, his eyes to his little eye sticks, and then the eye sticks to the body. Let's go. First, take the snail's body and choose where you want the shell to go. I'm thinking right there. Then tape it or glue if that's what you're using. Do the same with the other side. There, done. Trim off any excess that you don't like that peeks through before we tape the two shell sides together. Shell attached. Next, take those two little eyes and attach them to the eyeball sticks. I see, I see, yes. Take the eyeball sticks and attach them to the body. Bloop. Bloop. That's it, everything's all attached. But what's missing? Oh yeah, he needs a mouth. What's gonna complete this face? My first one was laughing. This one, not so impressed. I know. All done. Thanks for making a rockin' snail with me. What did yours look like? Was it laughing like my first one? Or was it sad like my second one? <laughs> Add any other details you like to make your snails more fun. Stickers, ooh, maybe glitter on the shell. This video was brought to you by Lumsden Library. I'm Various Heather. See you next time.